Please watch this video to the end and do not skip any parts. What's up guys, in this video I'm going to explain why and how I hacked Jurassic World the game. Before we get into it, I want to leave you with three disclaimers. Number one, I may make speculation based claims throughout the video that are not factually proven. Number two, this is just acting so nothing I say in this video is to be taken seriously. And number three, this video is for education purposes only, so do not use any of the programs I mention. Let's get into it. Firstly, I want to talk about why I hacked the game. I have a couple of reasons and I'm going to touch upon each of them briefly. Number one, the game costs too much money. Before I learned how to hack the game, I had already spent a whopping 500 US dollars on it. That's the price of a brand new PS5. This isn't uncommon, seeing as many mobile games have incredibly high ceilings of how much you can spend. Back in the day, I would go to a store and purchase a game for around $30 or sometimes less if it was used. And that was it. For the most part, there were no additional purchases and even if there was DLC, the prices would never come close to the amount of money you can spend today. In Jurassic World the game, you can find new packs available for purchase nearly every day, and sometimes the potential amount of money you can spend on these packs totals $1,000 or more, per day. If I were still playing this game without cheats, I would likely have spent more than I already have. By using hacks, I saved a ton of money that I would have otherwise blown. Number 2. The game doesn't have any multiplayer battles, so it isn't unfair for anyone. As much as the developers like to give the impression that the tournaments and other battle modes in the game are conducted via multiplayer, this isn't true. After having played thousands of battles, I can confidently state that you are battling bots, not people. If you were actually fighting people, the battles would be far less predictable and you wouldn't be allowed to go first every single turn during the Unlocking Creatures tournaments. Imagine if you always went first in Pokemon Showdown. That would be extremely unfair now, wouldn't it? I have little doubt that you are fighting bots in the game, as even the Gaming Beaver, one of the biggest creators for this game on YouTube, claims this as well. Seeing as there is no multiplayer in the game, cheating does not make anything unfair for others. Heck, they don't even currently ban people for cheating in this game, as the exposure that hackers give to the game on YouTube is free publicity and likely helps sales overall. Number 3, the game had me trapped and by maxing everything out I was quickly able to quit. Let me tell you a story. Two years ago, I played a game called Super Kirby Clash and quickly became hopelessly addicted to it. Theorizing that maxing out everything I could in the game would allow me to break free, I did just that. I completed all 900 achievements and obtained everything you possibly could in the game. And just like that, I no longer found myself playing the game ever again. This game, just like many others, preys on your tendency to seek novelty and uses that to keep you coming back. By hacking this game and obtaining practically everything I could get, I quickly lost interest and must have saved myself years worth of time that I would have otherwise been slaving over it. Number 4. I was trying to gain attention on my YouTube channel, so I had to get the best things possible to actually have a chance at getting views. While this does seem a bit vain, I wanted to gain more views on my YouTube channel through this game. Seeing as only extreme things gain attention nowadays on social media, I needed to have amazing dinosaurs if I wanted any chance at gaining attention. By hacking the game, I did in fact gain more views than I otherwise would have, though the results did fall short of my expectations as other people had already been using cheats to showcase content in this game for years. Now let's talk about how I hacked the game. Remember, this information is purely educational and is not to be used. In short, I used two programs. One is known as Lucky Patcher, which allows you to rebuild certain apps from the Play Store and bypass limitations. You can use this program to obtain unreasonably expensive in-app purchases for free in a number of games. There are a handful of tutorials on YouTube about how to install this program, and I personally ran it using Bluestacks. You can find tutorials on how to do this stuff in the description box. The second program I used is known as Game Guardian. This program allows you to alter values in the game such as Dino Bucks and Loyalty Points. You do need a rooted device to run this program smoothly, so I personally installed Nox onto my PC and tinkered with settings to root it. Again, you can find links to the tutorials I used in the description box below. Thanks for watching this video guys, I hope this was informative and helpful to everyone, and I hope you have a great day. Take care.